Okay, so I found out where the three victims I'm missing are. One of them is the clockmaker, who apparently is right here. And this is interesting because I can't get into the clockmakers. I can't open the door. But... Here's a window there, and maybe we can get to them from there. Or maybe from around the other side. If this is a clockmaker's shop... Um, there doesn't be any wood to repair up there. Unless... Unless that's wood up above. No. Yeah, I wish this mission was a little clearer on what's wood and what's not in terms of texturing, but okay. Maybe there's a way in from this side of his house. From there. I can get around. He's got an open window. Okay, so we're gonna need to gonna need to get them through the open window, right? Which means jumping over from that ledge. I guess, but how do I get to that ledge? This is another way through underwater here. Which I don't see. Hmm. I don't know any way to get to that ledge. Just run back around, climb up the ladder, run around again. Oh god, it's such a long way to go. Just around here. Okay. So this ledge, huh? I'm not gonna be able to run and jump that. That's. Oh, I can. Just if I diag if I strafe jump it. God. If you don't strafe jump, that's nowhere near reachable. Oh, hang on. That's wood as well. So you could repair that, but I probably strafe jump it, right? No. Let's try again. Not quite. I got the other way. Uh, of course, the other way, this is lower, so, alright. Repair it is. The repair wouldn't have really helped me there. There's no way I could have jumped to a repair from there. Well, I suppose I could have shot the rope arrow from over there all the way into here. <laughs> right, so we're at the clockmakers. Which is a secret, I guess. I see. <laughs> so, we still can't pick his lock, we're gonna need a key. Take a valuable watch, yes. Any other valuables up here? No, so he's been infected with the plague and he's down in his basement. He's probably going to need to be cured all on his own rather than as part of a mass conversion. Oh, there's his key. Yeah, we have to do him all by himself. Alright, let's do it. Help! I cured you, you ungrateful clock. There's the front door key. Anything else of value here? Some chisels? Oil? No. Alright. Just be glad you're not a zombie anymore. Well, that's one. Uh, okay. The next one is there's a clock. There's a worker at sewer one, uh, which is here next to the library. Yeah, we get in there. We can somehow get in there from the sewers. So I'll have to look at that. There's also a neighbor above Basso's shop. That's two more 
that I don't remember ever seeing. So let's head towards the serial one first. Where am I right now? Like the clockmakers are just here. Now let's get a better shot. It's just uh, much closer. Let's get through back to the market now. So the neighbor above better shop. From the front or the back, I don't recall, but let's let's wander around and let's see. So this is the better shop. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a window there. I have a rope arrow. It's wood. I never looked at that before. <sighs> Ew. We can't get in there. It's too narrow. What about getting on the t on the roof of that place? Let's try that instead. Can't get on the roof. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe the attic roof opens. The attic window there opens. Let's try that, huh? Nope, that's not wood. Stop wasting rope arrows. Uh, any of these windows open? Probably not. I can certainly recover all those. I don't need to worry too much. Nope. 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 Uh, okay. I'm not going to test the same for those. None of those look like they open. How do we get up there then? Interesting question. Clamber on the light. No. Nope. Maybe. <laughs> In theory. Oh, hey, hey. Wood. Yeah, here we go. So the other window there is just a hint that you can actually get there. I suppose. Alright, they're in their nightgown. Just wandering restless at night. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to leave him out either. So, I'm going to give them their own. Uh, potion. Their own treatment as well. Shit. Whoa! Who was that? Help! Help! God, you guys are also ungrateful. Also, your head was on backwards for a second, which was. Rather disconcerting. I'm gonna have to get a screenshot of that. That's uh, an interesting bug. Can turn off your nightlight now. Anything else? Oh, hey, so that window I saw wasn't related to you? Okay. Ouch. I'll take it. Get out of my way. Make it hard for me to grab my rope, mate. Got it. Alright, let's check that window again. There's a little sack or something there. Uh, hello, Verve. You're just about time for me to get to the end of this mission. I'm just curing a few people here. Ouch. But I got some more gold. So that was worth it. I hope. Uh, Alright, sewer one. So we need to get back into the sewers. Um... Who had a way into the sewers here? Obviously Basso does. Let's go through Basso's. Basso's shop key. Well, that's not Basso's shop. This is Basso's shop. And I'll just close it now. There's no guards wandering around. There's nobody who's going to be... What did I... Yeah, we... that's... Uh, what have been there? Nobody's going to be wandering in here uninvited. Un 
So... Right. We're outside Basso's. Two maintenance one is... Oh, past the main canal. We should have just gone to the police station. It's not this way, is it? This is door that I can't pick. Um, this way leads to the police station. Or to the canals in front of it. Okay, yes. Uh, so that was a waste of time going there, so I should have just come and jumped in here. So this looks suspicious, right? That looks like I should be able to mantle it, but it's a little too high. Oh yeah, there's, there's someone there. But that's right, I can get... I can get there from the other side, that's for sure. Can I get there from here? So maintenance station one. I can't pick it, and I've only got the key to number two. All right, let's go around. See if we can get in from the other side. Once we did that, we should be able to do a mass cure of the other three. So I don't expect the guy in the sewer is going to be able to join them. Mass cure of three is about all I can hope for. Right, uh, toss these pointless love potions and strength potions in the drink. Malthus is dead anyway, so it's not going to help him. He's not going to sell any more of them. Uh, this is the wrong way. Is it this way? Yeah. Look at all those potions. Wasted. Aha! I see an opportunity for... Maybe. Feels like it's gonna hit the bars, let's just try it. Wait, did that not hit the switch? Can I not pull the switch that way? Well, that's unfortunate. How do I get in there then? Mate, would you mind hitting the switch? The lever there in front of you, just pull it. Uh, okay. Not like a secret door there or anything, is there? Doesn't appear to be. How do I get in? That's the front door, I think. There's two maintenance. Well, the main door's at the street level. Right, how do I get in here? Can't even jump to get his attention. I guess I need to look around and see what I can find out. It's a balcony, but uh, no chance of climbing up there. There isn't any way under here, is there? Are there sewers that it connects to? Like, it should connect to sewers, right? Every other sewer maintenance station is connected to some sewers that were accessible from elsewhere. This one seems an exception. Mm. Mm. I mean, it is an optional objective, so I probably shouldn't spend too long on it. Alright, here's the letter. Let's come out. But, I would like to cure all of them. Since I, you know... Since I did go to the trouble of looking them up, uh, which was never my original plan, but uh, turned out to be necessary simply because of. Uh... Wait, where are we? Turned out to be necessary simply because I could only find three of the necessary four, so I had to look them up, and it turned out the, only, the first clue I got was all six of them. Two or ones, there's a library in front of us. Um. Somewhere here? No, I'm confused. I'm at Stonebridge. Library to my east. Inaccessible, right? Can't get in the library. 
Does this canal connect to the sewer maintenance? Possibly. I'm not sure if I checked. Or does this just connect to the other canal? Oh yeah, this is... Oh god, this is the one I just swam out of. Alright, I'll climb out here. <laughs> sewer maintenance building! There's nothing, nothing about accessible here. If I can't find the way to get in there, then I won't worry too much because he's the only one left. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't need to get it in to cure him, right? I don't need to get at him. I just need to spray him with some holy water. I can do that from here. <laughs> hey, mate. Where's my holy water? Mate. Come here. That's right. Holy water, where are you? No, hit him. No! God, Garrett, you're a terrible shot. There we are. Who's that? Please don't play games. I'm not playing games. Why don't you pull that lever over there? Well. <clears throat> hey, let me in. Are you just going to sit there? Well, maybe I can't get in. Why don't you go pull that lever for me? Who's there? What was that? No? Or you can go over and open that door. Yeah, whatever. Forget you. You're cured, that's really all I needed to do. One more. Well, rather, three more. Three more, but they're all nicely cooped up. And... Okay, what's the quickest way? This way, I guess. All nicely cooped up. Oh god. I remembered what this reminds me of. This is reminds me of some of the bloody Gwent music from uh, Witcher 3 that was playing endlessly. Right, sewer maintenance 2 has been temporarily pressed into storage. Uh, sorry, pressed into use as infected patient storage. So I should now attempt to resolve that and cure the three who are trapped there. Here we go. Right, let's get my ready my holy water. Get you all out of here. That's two of you. Where's the third? Where's the guy with the with his, where's the sword man? Oh well, I'll deal with you first. Please don't hurt me. Right. Twenty seconds. Nineteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Twelve seconds. Where did he go? Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, just in time. Oh shit, he's a guard. No, 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 don't kill me, I cured you. I'm a, I'm a doctor. Unlicensed, of course, but... Shit. Alright. Alright, alright. I'm not a thief, I'm a victim here. Alright, I've outrun the guard, I think, so, uh... All I need to do now is go back to Basso's. Sure, no instance done by my hand or as a result of my negligence, yes. As long as that guard doesn't slay the other two there. And, uh, go back to my room in Basso's house. All... S we got the optional objective. All the places as you can in this part of town. 
All six. So now, I'm gonna swim, take a shortcut. Go back to Passos, and then see what happens on the second night. Sure, things are gonna get worse. You'd think, having disposed of one of the seven sisters now, that uh, the other six would no longer really be a problem. Wait, I'm lost. Does that not, does that not go through? Oh, I'm gonna come back this way. That's the bloody music. Dear, dear, dear. Okay. Almost there. Through the police station. Oh, we didn't find Pinky, but if he's if he's around, he's not here. I have a feeling the Burrick meat merchant on the other side of town might have captured him, but uh, if that's the case, it's not anything I can help with tonight, since we can't get through to the other part of town. Here we are back at Basso's lockpicking shop. And Basso and Genevieve are hanging out here very uh, silently. Guys, you want to say something? No? Alright. I don't know whether any equipment carries over, but if so, I've got two holy waters left and 13 hours left. That's actually that's something. And here's our room. Let's go to sleep. I think we've earned a good night's rest. <laughs> sleep. So, night one complete. It only took us five hours, eight minutes and seven seconds, not including quite a number of reloads. We only missed 300 loot, so I did pretty well on that. We only had to get 1900 and we got 2600. And picked all the pockets we could. We missed two whole secrets. Interesting. There were a bunch of bodies discovered, but that's quite all right. I do not care about this stat at all, unless it causes other problems. Excellent. The damage dealt 652. Is that just all the hammer horns I killed? I don't know. Well, let's see what happens next. Night two. Find and neutralize the sister bound to air. Find and neutralize the two sisters bound to fire. You have one sister stone key already, find three more. So we've got to neutralize three sisters and take their stone keys. Gather at least 4,000 loot. Dear, dear, dear. Some civilians are armed, but it's just to defend themselves. Don't kill any, okay. Find and heal at least six plague citizens this time, and find and heal all the plague citizens who live in this part of town. Optional, so there's more than six now. Right? Get two holy seeds from the earth font and take them with you. You will need them tomorrow night. Ensure that no innocents die by your hand or as a result of your negligence. That's... I don't like that objective at all. Get two holy seeds from the earth font and take them with you. You will need them tomorrow night. That's... Firstly, how am I supposed to know that I need them? Uh, how do I know I need them tomorrow night when I don't even know that I don't, you know, complete the problem tonight? And again, find and neutralize three sisters tonight. There's a little... It's a little bit um, stretched, but the reason for that, I think, is because originally it was intended to be a single, very large mission and ended up having to be split up into several parts, uh, mostly geographically. So, I guess originally we would have got the, read the prophecy and say, oh, we need to deal with all seven sisters, or, you know, all six of the ones that were already there. So, fair enough feels a little clunky for the objectives to tell us stuff that we wouldn't couldn't possibly know but I guess it's fair enough uh, right, I thought it would crash for a minute well here we are in Passos it's, it's 
either it's daylight or there's a street lamp right outside the window. Probably the ladder. You know, it's uh, that's why it's a guest room. That's why they don't use it as their room. Okay. I hope you've cleaned up in your kitchen now. Yeah, and you've left an. Oh, I've got a new lockpick. First, Garrett. I collected the keys you recovered last night and placed them on a key ring. Included among them are all my keys, those to the shop and the basement. On the table you'll find the other lockpick. I informed Connor, the weaponsmith, that you would pay him a visit. Don't worry, he's a little tight-fisted, but I'm sure that he will let you take something useful. By the way, I've come across some information which may prove useful to you. There is an old mill in the country west of East Fording, and a little community of pagans live not far from there. To get there, you should exit town through the sewer by the west gate. Uh, Alright, we'll go see Connor. Maybe we can get some flash bombs or something from him. And, uh... How does... How does, uh... Basso know that one of the, that we need to find a community of pagans? Because one of the sisters is a pagan. That's... Mm, Alright. New objectives. Uh, once all the objectives are complete, rendezvous with Basso below the west gate and exit the city through the sewers. Okay. We also need to go to Connors, so that's not an objective. We have a key ring, so the key ring is gonna let us unlock lock and unlock a bunch of doors then, is it? Not that one. Uh, that's not obviously it doesn't lock. Oh, the guards are back out, we're gonna to have to knock out all the guards on the street again. What have we got here? Message from the mayor. Master Basso, your handiwork is required with the utmost urgency. One of the windows of my habitation has a bent latch, and locking it is not possible anymore. This is a very serious matter. Although the window is situated on the second floor, any ill-intentioned ne'er-do-well could access it with extreme ease. I think that a new latch is needed. The repair must absolutely happen before tomorrow evening. I will not pass another night with the terror that a thief can enter my house. The Mayor, Lord Julius Flaherty. However, I'm supposed to say his weird name. Uh, nothing new there. Before I get downstairs, I thought there's another door that would open. Uh, obviously not that one. Yeah. Get the guy napping around here. Yeah, okay, probably not a good way to go. Yeah, so you can go back to your napping, Mr. Guard. Well, and of course... Instead of going out the front door of the shop, we can go through the sewers, which is probably will give me a little more uh, options. Uh, all right. Uh, in Verbus just commented in the chat that he likes the graphics in the game. Um, so. This this is a uh, a fan mission that's not part of the original game, so it's not an official mission, and it has noticeably higher resolution textures than in many cases than the original game did. But apart from the texture quality, yeah, Thief does a very good job of looking like a medieval city without needing to be um, overly detailed. Looks like this doesn't work anymore. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one put any new loot down here, did they? That would be silly. Alright. Leave the judge's place alone. Now the problem with this key ring is all the keys I collected last time, I can't remember what keys I collected last time properly. And which which doors I have to pick. I do remember I couldn't pick this lock last time. Because I needed the square lock pick. I think this is the first mission I've seen which only gives you one lock pick. Uh, on the previous mission, at least, we only had the, the one. And man. There were a bunch of locks that we could only half pick, which was interesting. Who is it that's wandering around here? 
see a holy water vial there, but I also hear the footsteps coming back. I want to. Is it a guard? Is it a civilian? Will I even be able to see them from here? I don't know. Oh, there's more than one. Huh. Mechanist. Huh? What was that? Nothing. Why are mechanists patrolling the sewers? That's a really good question. Sleep here. Anton. Where's that holy water? Oh, dead rat. Great. And a note. Brother Anton. Since you seem to be so distressed with your condition, I have decided to give in to your demands and temporarily transfer you to the old factory. You will be required to clean and unload the equipment while Brother Alva arranges the security system. Brother Rufus. Oh, that's nice. He asked for a transfer and he got one. Alright, where is this other guy coming back? I'm impatient. Here he is. Okay, so I didn't keep my holy water from last mission, so I'm going to need to get enough to cure at least six plague civilians. Hopefully more. It's probably like eight or more. You can sleep too. Alva. Uh, so this is the mechanist factory. It's just marked on the map. Not under here, right? Uh, Sewers is here. I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are. I need to remember to go to Connors. But uh, I'll finish. Oh dear, they have iron beasts. Great. Alright, well this will take me out to the streets. So it's the market, that's the market square. Alright, so market square is here. And we are on the southern edge of it. So this must be the Mechanist factory here. Fair enough. Yeah, there's a guard there, too, right? Let's not. Let's try not to aggravate him. Close that for safety. Oh, I heard some whirring of gears. There is a. Uh... Oh dear, the manufacturing iron beast here. I don't. I don't like that. I wonder if there's one guy. Should not have seen anything. The doors there. Well, his mask is valuable at least. Boiler. Oh god, those creepy spider bots. On the other hand, you don't, I haven't generally had a chance to look at them up close. I didn't notice it's got a second head with arms on it. That's weird. Five water arrows. I'm sure, I'm gonna get more, right? You. I don't care. I don't like these big robots. You are going down. Make sure you never work again. There we go. A few good strikes with my sword, and all that's left is your boiler. Imagine that's an alarm. 
Yeah, it says alarm. Uh, so I don't want to push that. Can I also... Destroy these ones? There we go. Let's mess up these mechanists. At least somewhat. Great. A few more bots that will never trouble us again. Not that they would have, uh... Hmm. That l the lid of that is a different colour, you notice? Like it should open, but uh, apparently... Apparently not. Oh, they're all like that, okay. I suppose some of them can open. <laughs> but none of these do. Alright. I think we've got everything we're going to get out of here. Look at all these broken pieces of robot. Great! And those aren't doors at work. So much for the factory. Uh, I'm sure Brother Anton and Brother Alva down here are going to have... going to enjoy their... Um, enjoy it when they're found. Having failed to guard the factory, they'll be surely be held responsible for those three bots being destroyed as well. I'm afraid that's probably not going to turn out very well for them, but uh, such is life. All right, so this one only opens with a lever from the other side, so I can't get back there. That's actually really annoying. That um, all the work I did to open. I guess some of this one was open already, right? I can't close it, but most of the work I did to open passages around the place last time is probably undone again. Shame. Also, I need to keep an eye out for more water crystals in the water. Is it still open this time? <laughs> nope. Nope. That's Basso's. Someone down here. Does sound like it, doesn't it? Unless they're above me. Oh yeah, there is someone there. Basil! Why are you carrying a hammer? I bet you would have hit me with it. Sleep. Basil's key. No. It's not locked. Ooh, what's going on here? Florence. Basil's journal. Damn, that idiot has been caught. If he talks, everything will be ruined. I will do the last delivery to Leo tonight, and then I will throw the rest of the stuff in the canal. I will also eliminate the evidence. I've already decided to quit anyway. I was getting really tired of that scoundrel Lucas Meredith and his blackmailing. With all the people who are dying, I am making a fortune with the coffins. It won't be necessary for me to get involved in this dirty business anymore. This plague also offers me the chance to free myself once and for all from my wife. Tomorrow morning I will go to the city watch and tell them that I had to kill her. I'll say that she had been struck by the plague and that she had been attacked and that she had attacked me. I can't stand her anymore, that old witch. You are a bastard. Well, Basil, I'm afraid uh, you're probably not going to get the chance you want. Can I open any of the coffins? I can open all of them. Awesome. Is that just the street out there? Hopefully not. Where's your key, your Basil? Basil's key. <laughs> Oh, well, there's more guards patrolling still, but this will make an easy option, uh, easy way for me to knock out these two guards who aren't patrolling. <laughs> Thought you saw something, did you? It was just the wind. 
You saw the wind, that's right. Mm -hmm. What was that? Nothing. Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> Quite right, it was nothing. Well, that's gonna make it a little easier. I had a lot of trouble knocking these guys out before, but um, it should be a bit easier this time. Let's wait for this gentleman to come back here. So there's another mission I played recently that did a similar thing here to this. So Keeper of the Prophecies, I don't know, there's a few missions I played that reuse locations in the same way that this one does. Um, over the course, it was like, over the course of several days. And it did the same thing this one does of have some, some windows and stuff. Sorry, some doors and stuff inaccessible one day and then accessible the next. And um, it's definitely not a pattern I like much. Because probably just the wind. Uh, it's not a, It's not a pattern I like very much. Because, sorry, I keep interrupting my own thought, train of thought with uh, what I'm doing. Arnold, wait there. It's not a bad I like very much because it means, firstly, we're treading a lot of familiar ground. That can be good, but it generally needs a um, big recontextualization to really be interesting. The other problem is you find, well, you know, you find yourself having to try every door again just to see whether it's changed, whether, whether it was inaccessible before and accessible now or or what oh shit as I saw something yeah it was quite bright brightly lit there quiet enough now okay then <clears throat> nothing oh he's got a pig leg andreas i want to know what the story is there well i'm you guys can all wake up in Basil's place. One of you was an archer as well? No, that was the one out here. Wait, this one. Arnold. Take your arrow. I don't really need it. And I forgot to check the names of these two other fine fellows who are knocked out. What have we got? Arthur and Austin. Arthur, Austin, Arnold, and Andreas. All right, we want to make sure that you're going to find the evidence um, before Basil has a chance to carry out his silly story. So we'll make sure Florence's body is also found here, and I'll bring Basil up as well, so you guys can. Oh, actually. I have a better idea. Basil, you come with me. You come with me. Basil, you're gonna go to sleep. Yeah, well, it didn't really work, did it? Fell right through. And sort of sideways. Come on. Uh, there. Perfect. Well, as perfect as let me get. Haha, <laughs> Basil. Sleep in your own coffin. Alright. Nice collection of uh, people here, but um, they don't have to do. Basil's going to get the shock of his life when he wakes up in a coffin. He wakes up a coffin in a coffin. I need a key there. Do I have the key for this? Where's that gearing? I do. Whose place is this? Oh, this passes. Passes front door, right? And this is shop door. All right. 
I have to find the systematic air, the two sisters of fire, find this stone keys, get the whole pile of loot. Uh, so, last time I was all up in this part of town. I don't know how much of that successful, but I'm going to have to head up back this way just to do a quick look around and see. I'm sure otherwise it'll be here, and I'm sure the western part of town over here is now going to be accessible tonight. So I'll also get some new exploration happening. But before the new expl ex explanation, exploration, I'll go and revisit the old bits of town, see which doors are now open, which doors are all put. God, please saw me. Let's not go there just yet, huh? Oh, this is Connor's. Do we have Connor's key? Or just a note to go see him? That's right, his... Uh, his gate was only accessible from... the inside. How did we get there before? Was it from the sewers? Maybe it's from the sewers. Let's go back to the sewers. Certainly not through there. Not the back door. The Connors is to the east here. Oh yes, so it was just a basil, so I didn't stop to look anymore. <laughs> I just went straight out there. So Connors is around here. So he's supposed to be expecting me this time, he shouldn't complain if I walk in. Hey Connor! How are you doing mate? I uh, hope I don't burn my hands on your swords. Oh, I'll take your water crystals, you're not going to need them are you? Yeah alright, I'll close the door. Stop complaining about the draft. It's so hot in here, you should be enjoying the draft. Maybe not the smell. Right. Oh, he's got some more flash bombs for me, and another scaling orb, and a couple of rip arrows, four rip arrows in fact. And some garlic to protect him from the vampires. And a few broadheads. Awesome. Thanks, Connor. You're the best. And now we can go out this front gate. Alright, that's at that end, so... Back towards the police station. Hmm. No. What's nothing? So I'm hearing some growls nearby. That's telling me there's a plague victim about. Can't open that door. Can I open this one? I can pick it. Is nobody seeing me here? This is right, just stand. Oh shit. That's where the crowds were coming from. Stand in the light, just across the road from the police station, pick the lock. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Better do this right away. Oh, this is the baker. I had been in here before. And I stole all his bread, so he's got none left. I didn't realize he'd become plague afflicted. It's a shame. Is he just going to stand there, or is he going to go back to his shop? Gonna go back to the shop. Okay. Lucky you didn't. Lucky you didn't see me there. Yeah, I was very close. Uh, do I clear out the police station again, or do I go into the sewers here? I still don't have maintenance key one, right? I might be able to open the door, but uh, I can hear another play victim as well. So no doubt one of the. <laughs> People here in the police station is infected. Mm. 
Oh. This guard himself. Alright, well I guess I'm not going the same way into the police station I did before. So we cured one out of eight. Let's check on the prisoners. Haha. <laughs> Shouldn't be able to open that. Well, they've let Carnival Man go. Alright, I'm gonna need more holy water at some point. Hopefully I'll find plenty. Alright, not getting in that way. Okay, out of the canals. Just trying to stay out of the way of the cops. Nothing. Okay. So Bessel's Carpentry. We've been there, yeah. Been to the bakers. What's this building? Where's key ring? Uh, oh, this Bessel shop. Idiot. Silly me. Oh, look, more infected to people. Is that? That's the carnival man. Oh, he called to play. What a shame. I hope he doesn't uh, get slaughtered by a guard. Oh, there's somebody coming and going from the balcony up there. Huh? What? It's never really anything. We got an archer. Probably just the wind in here. Well, that place is on fire. It's not very not safe. No way. Turn around, man. Did I lose him? I think I did. I hope I did. Where did he go? Around the corner, maybe. Who knows? I know you're around here somewhere. All right, Edwin, come with me. You want to sleep in a nice corner here. And you want to give me your arrows. Thank you. Well, he did get me, but not for much. So, uh, I was fairly lucky. They're very good shots, and if you don't uh, zigzag, basically got no chance. All right, so this fella is also Edward and Edwin. That's not gonna confuse anyone. Oh, wow, so I'm so fired with the whole stall. Okay, that's the same notice as was up there last time. So last time, last night, I was able to come in here. Oh, I see. There's an X that was condemned. They're burning it to clear the plague. It's not... Oh, it's not an accident. I'm doing this on purpose. Alright, where's my, uh... Key ring? Oh, lockpicks. See what's in the fruit stand. Ah, there's a note left for me. Do you take me for a fool, thief? Rotten fruit is all you'll get from me tonight. Nice. I like that. Is that rotten? Is that gonna hurt me? Oh, it does heal me. That was two fresh apples. And two fresh carrots. 
not rotten fruit. So I do take you for a full fruit salesman. Alright, where to now? That's still inaccessible. So this guy's... Oh, that's right. Oh. Is that, uh, Wally? Of the famous Wally and Dolly, yeah. I'm not sure. It's not very clear. Oops, I should take my red arrow back. Alright, so. I can't remember which locks I could pick and which ones I had to use keys for, so... I guess I couldn't get in here last night. Let's see what we have tonight. Uh. 290 gold total. It's a nugget of some kind. So, all right. The judge has still left his window open, has he not? Uh, the judge's place is all boarded up now. I guess we're not getting in there. All right, I guess I'll go back. This is the way I came. Careful, carrot. Those have carrots aren't healing you much. So how do I get up there? Who is that? Just some, just some civilian. Not a house loot for me. And they even named. Um, where even are we? Here? They're at the dancing barrack. Yeah. How do I get there if I can't get into Fowley's? Maybe maybe I can go in the front door, yeah, because the dancing barrack was closed for a private party yesterday. But today it should be open. Nobody. Alright, the market square gate is still shut, so that's not going to help me. That's the factory. I don't think I can get through here, huh? Yeah, you saw nothing. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Uh, which means I do need to get through the police station. Which means, I guess, dealing with the, uh, the policeman zombie. I already checked that door. What did I see there? Alright, well, uh, a zombie policeman isn't that much of a threat, but, looking at the time, um, I think it's time to end the episode here, and we'll go through the police station. Yeah. Go through the police station for the next episode. Alright. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you here for the next episode later on.